All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we back with some Valorant. Three week little hiatus for a little while. We had a uh, quite a long, long arduous journey back to the uh, Valorant scene. We haven't had a game in quite a while, but we are back here for I believe this is week four. We did have a bye last week, and we do have our rescheduled game tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we're looking pretty good for this next. Stacked week of Valorant. Of course, it's your boy Afro Kuma back in the booth. And back from the Rocket League games, Krama Gra. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we are going to be, you know, a little bit about the, our, our opponents here is Sacramento State, the uh, Hornets. Of course, uh, we were kind of going through just what the, the game <laughs> one plan is. Yeah. Um, and it looks like we will be starting on Ascent to start off this game. Uh, First yep. game of the series for the for the pick and bands how they work is uh, SMSU gets to well SMSU got the first band so SMSU bans a map um, they ban fracture um, the Hornets they ban debris after SMSU then SMSU gets to pick one yep Sacramento gets to pick one um, SMSU pick descent um, strongest map easily yeah, for sure um, we've seen them on it a lot and then um, Sacramento State then decided they were going to pick Haven. Um, SMSU banned out Icebox, and I didn't see how the rest of those actually went. Yeah, I think you were kind of right on there. It was, uh, you know, we saw Fracture get banned. We saw Breeze get banned. Uh, Icebox was one of them as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Ascent Haven was uh, no, the ones that were picked. I also was not looking at that <laughs> last one. It was so fast, but we got a gist of what game one and game two are going to be like. Yeah, so. and, you know, it's interesting that SMSU decides that they want to pick the Icebox. Um, the one game, so because they only had the week one and then, uh, okay, yeah, so yep. it was it was an SMSU. Uh, yeah, they, they picked the Scent for sure. Oh, they chose I'm, Attack, and then we have. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. third map will be split. That's what I was, that's yep. what I was looking at. I was trying to figure out, um, I believe, SAC, um, they banned Bind. Yep, yep. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we haven't seen a lot of split coming from SMSU, mm -hmm. so it's going to be interesting to see that. But, you know, they've done fairly decent. Uh, Icebox against Blue Gold a couple weeks ago wasn't the most uh, it, strongest of performances yeah, by the team. Um, but I'm, I'm sure the cracks have been kind of getting filled up since then. So we had I, – I had, I had some fun teasing Afro over here about uh, – the Just first the first week we had because in preseason yeah we had a single game that went to 37 rounds um oh my god <laughs> fully together oh, I and the first going. week of official play it was 37 rounds combined between the ascent and the icebox game yeah, um, so uh, are you thinking you, you've got your bet on it happening for I a third I doubt it's going to happen but um I'll keep a tally Hey, you know, we'll, we'll keep tallies <laughs> over here. I'll write it down. I got my, I got my little, I got my notes right here. You got your pen. So I'm gonna write it down. I'm gonna click this right here. I'm gonna start writing it down once we get there. Uh, I don't, I'm not a gambling man, so just don't expect any bets. But <laughs> we'll I, to, I'm not, I'm not either. We'll just have to see how we. I'm go not either, from unless there. it's on stuff that doesn't matter. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely fair. So uh, yeah, looking at the the composition on the side of SMSU, um, more or less, uh, you know, usual business. Uh, you know, you got your Astros, you got Silva back, we yeah, got Jet, we got Killjoy, we got Sky. Usual characters, the yeah. people who are on those characters, yeah, that's, however, that's a little know, different. It's a little, it's a little um, bit, it's a mixed bag. You know, it's a, it's a, it's slightly different from Bovo, but with SMSU having lost Wookie, um, who was the resident Silva player. Um, it looks like Beast Mod's going to actually be pick, picking up the Sova here. Yeah. He normally plays Sky, so the Kingslayer here will be on Sky for SMSU this time around. So I think Kingslayer is going to be my player to watch for this game. Yeah. Um, I want to see how he performs on the Sky. Um, Beast Mod does really great things on Sky um, when we have seen him play him. Yeah. Uh, play her. Excuse me. <laughs> um, so I'll be very interested to see how this goes. Um, on the side, however, of the Hornets a little difference there a little bit yeah I'm seeing uh we got two Sentinels obviously with Chamber and Sage uh I don't know if they're going to think about either sticking both of them on one side or going for just you know, one on each the one thing that immediately I noticed from the Hornets team comp they don't have any flashes no none none so you, uh, <laughs> I feel like this. The, so oh, we have to see how it goes because you know it's still first they, impressions. They have a lot of really good tools for defending here. Yeah. Um, 
However, if they don't manage to get up ahead um, on defense here against SMSU, I think they're going to have a really hard time um, attacking, especially with how we've – I mean, we know SMSU's track record. They do a really, really good job of defending here on, on ascent. Yeah, um, that's uh, – Their I, ability I to lock down sites um, is paramount. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Um Oh, Ooh, oh, what those a, early shock oh darts. Oh, my. Uh, you know, it caught me off guard just a little bit. I was like, oh, no, he missed. Those were Oh, no, he didn't. No, he did not. So effectively and just to like that, be Dave. able to take out Woken and bring uh, bring Beast Mod down to half health. I almost said Wookiee there for a second. I, had <laughs> it's, to, I know. I, I know. It's the remnants are still there, of I, course. We I, have I, actually seen uh, Beast Mod play Sova in the past, uh, I believe. In one, I was, it was either one of the preseason games or it was the game with blue gold but i do remember seeing him take on the reins for a, like a did few he games play, i think i think you're right i think he did play sova on that uh on the icebox match that they had and it looks um, yeah then uh he I, I i'm sure he's been doing a lot of practice and of course to get back into the groove i think he's, yeah. he's you know he's got to go from sky to sova Ooh, smsu get it on the site for i mean pretty free um yoshi is looking to hold down that uh that smoke there. Um, oh, but Astra gets shot down by by Yokobu. And now it's going to be a 5v3 retake here for the Hornets. They do lose one in Straws from the Kingslayer. So coming out strong already, getting an early kill in that pistol round. It's what we like to see. Yeah, they got to hold these angles. And they do manage to get the Jet, who was peeking a little much, overextending just slightly. Oh, we will King be down Slayer. to one, though. We'll get one. Ooh. Oh, but we'll not get the, the the final member of the Hornets. But, of course, I mean, that's still somewhat of a strong showing by both teams. It wasn't a full-out squash, but, of course, the, setting the tone with those double shock darts really mm -hmm. really helped send a message to SMSU. Yeah. Like, we, don't, we don't play this stuff. You know, stuff. SMSU we, we did a really good job in that round considering the fact that, like, really early on they lost one member and the other member with the Beast Mod going down to half health. Yeah. Um, they are able to do a lot of things. They got onto site. They got the plant down. They took the Hornets down to just one man. Um, and I, I actually think the I think what might have won the round for SMSU there is when Kingslayer peeked out. If he had just right clicked, it Probably might have gotten him a lucky kill. Yeah, he was close enough, and it would have been really, really efficient. Um, you know, you just peek out, throw that right click, peek back into cover. Don't give him any time, but you know, doesn't know that he's going to be peeking into two members there necessarily. So it looks like uh, the Jet will know that they are dropping in here. Probably going to, yep, they do back off a little bit into the tree area. Just going to start kind of setting and formulating a plan. But, yeah. of course, SMSU is still spread out. And this is just going for defaults. Smart for Chamber to hold there. Um, you know, SMSU, they're running with pretty much just um, classics. Beast Mod here has the Sheriff. Yep. Um, but given that they lost that last round, they don't want to force up. Um Ooh, this, this, Beast Mod is ratting good. real hard here in mid. Oh, Chamber. Oh, no. Chamber oh, sees him. they got it. And the Jet 2 coming on to catch. But Chamber. Oh, that's Oh, he's going to get the easy headshot. And Teleports out there. out there. And that's the power of Chamber, man. Headhunter is disgusting. Uh, <laughs> it is so, so gnarly. It's fun watching it, too. Um, but, of course, he had that completely scouted. He heard the Jet running up on the Cat, jumping down. That caused the Sova to kind of make that push and overextended. Gets collapsed. And now... We're down to 4v5. Chamber is hurt slightly, but the advantage still goes in the hands of the Hornet, as we I see here. I really, really love Strauss positioning here. Oh, um, wow. Holding down that double market, um, you know, not letting SMSU push into market to challenge that play, challenge the Astra in there for free. Yeah. Um, and being able to, like, use that Spectre to the utmost ability up against SMSU's pistols. However, it is now an even round here. Well, fairly even anyways. Sacramento will yeah. be doing their bonus work here. Um, Strauss will actually buy up there. Um, not sure if he'll keep that necessarily. Um, we'll make him very broke for the next round if he dies. Um, the rest of his teammates will be able to easily buy up. And as I say that, he goes just the sheriff, so pretty sure he's hitting that, uh, hitting that 4,100 um, credit Ooh. mark where he can full buy next round if needed. Yeah, and uh, you can even see here that the Jet just setting off some shots. Just kind of let them know, hey, I'm here if you need me. Just know that. Uh, you can see that based on the pings, they're kind of looking over toward uh, Market to make sure Ooh, that's all Woken, safe here taking, in line. Taking, oh, just a little bit of damage. 
Looks like she was much. taking more shots than yeah. she was. Not too much. <laughs> just a, just a little bit of a graze, you know. A little, uh, a little peppering from a from a specter. Yeah. And now all the utilities coming out here. Uh, this is going to give them enough time to kind of get down on site. They do manage to get plant the bomb here from the beast mod as the hornets begin to kind of rush in. But he's coming from heaven. Interrupted there by that uh, Astra suck, which is real unfortunate. Yokobu, uh, Yakobu. Oh my gosh, that's hey, gonna man. screw me up all game. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I want. I want to say it with an O, not an A. Um, Yakobu over here in tree, being real patient. There's oh, two of yeah. his other members up on Heaven, so going to be looking to retake oh, here. Oh. Okay, yeah, that... Oh my goodness, the Sage hitting the shot off with the Sheriff, but it will be SMSU picking up that one. I would say, based on that whole play, that was it was smart for, for SMSU when they got in, they planted the bomb. They were able to kind of hold those angles mm -hmm. off. Of course, uh, once they were able to kind of clear out everyone on the uh, near tree and near main, they only had to really worry about the sage up in heaven. But I uh, I really appreciate the coordination I'm seeing coming out of the Hornets already. Yeah, um, it's working out just for them. Like, especially there, SMSU gets the bomb down, right? Yep. The Hornets have four members alive, but they don't rush in there. They wait till they're all in position. They wait till their heaven members are two pushed, are two, two of them pushed up, yep. and then they double peek out of garden to try and pinch SMSU. Now, gunfights didn't go their way. They were at a gun disadvantage, though. So, you know, big big round win for SMSU there. They come out of the round. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, my heart dropped. <laughs> my heart dropped. If he just took a shot in the dark, Ooh. that would have been a kill. He had it. He had it. He had the shot. But, oh, my goodness. And you know what's insane about that? After, after he looks away, the ping from Sova comes out on him. Yeah, and that just confirms it. <laughs> Now he's going to have to try. He does get a little bit off of uh, for that damage, but it ain't going to be enough. It's not even worth He is definitely going to back off from that. Probably the best idea is not going to try. Vulcan going to watch it just in case as the attacker Killjoy does come out and they initiate this push on to B-Site. Going to have to fight through. Uh, Straw is going to be stranded here oh, on site. Gets yeah. picked up by Beast Mod. Now two members back alley. One of them gets picked up there by Kingslayer. And they will have and almost now, full control of site here. It's down to... Just Yoshi. Astra, Jet, and Chamber. He pushed up into Market, but Uzi's only got 10 health. Pushed up here into Alley and Chamber. Looking for that Lurker. A little worried that all the members of SMSU aren't on site. Just well, they, keeps looking, but he's going to slow push in there. Ooh, Yoshi go off. is pretty low here. Um, well, in terms of he doesn't have any armor left. He and will he be gets down to picked 10. up there. That's, but it's down to Chamber. Last alive. They do have the ping on him. Gets they know where he out is. And he gets wall banged yep. by a piece of bread. Like sharks in the water. <laughs> the the <laughs> blood has been spilled and they, they smelled him. They knew where he was. Wasn't much he could do. The attacker Killjoy definitely helped out with that round win. I mean, getting them into a position where they either had to leave site so they can take site or if they might get a kill, which we did see the Sage try to do. Uh, they were in such a weird situation where it's like, well, if I leave, I'm going to get exposed. So I might as well try and get a kill off. If I get detained, so be it. But at least I got a pick. But it didn't work out for him. And now we're back to a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. It's still looking. You know, it can go either way. We yeah, see S how the coordination SMSU is on SMSU has the definite uh, economic advantage for since sure. they won that uh, won that ri rifle round, that round three, and only lost one member. Oh, my, um, oh my goodness. Jackson, calls. this can be real dangerous for him. Um, if he just stays there and waits, perhaps it could work out gonna for him. he's going to lurk. Oh, such a dangerous location to go into astral form there. You can't hear anything. Yeah, and they didn't see him either, so they don't know he's there just yet. If he makes any kind of moves, though, this could be big. He's he going to see shot. Uzi there. And oh, and he gets a second one. Oh, my goodness. You know, unfortunately, Yoshi there had the shorty and looked like he was in a great position to try and pick off Jackson there, but just didn't quite know that he was there, didn't peek out. And Jackson going to get a third one here on the round. Oh, oh. The boy. other two members of the Hornets up in tree here, and Jackson's going to be looking for him. going to be holding that angle from Cat. One of them's got a Sheriff. Other he just one needs I, to keep watching I that. believe has a Classic. Oh, Jackson. Oh. If it ain't going to be... shots taken oh, out at him, but... He actually gets shot. Oh, but Jackson might go for the ace here. Oh, oh he gets but Straw's ruining oh, that ace with the... That Sheriff. Sheriff Hetty. That Sheriff Hetty is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Won't guarantee the win, however, as we just saw there. It will still be SMSU's round, but of course the, the ace would have definitely built up more confidence going into mm -hmm. this next 
uh, round of action. But Ooh, Uzi bringing up the op, going for literal broke wow. if he keeps it. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely an all or nothing play. It can work out, however. But we have to see. We don't know how they play with the op. There are a lot of resources on the side of uh, of the Hornets. They have four ultimates up here. That's Chamber correct. is one off his alt. A um, little bit of damage goes on oh, to no. Kingslayer there early. Jakoba, though, is in a real pushed up position. Oh! oh! And it was all lined up for him to get some Collat headies with the Vandal, but the little gets twitches picked of the hand. off. Those micro twitches of the hand is all that it took. Rosario will take out the Beast Mod as they begin their push. They do take oh. out the man watching in Boathouse, and they're going to make oh, the moves Yoshi here. Oh, Yoshi commits wow. to the spray, and it does work out for him. And now... Not the site that you really want to be pushing onto with the op here. Gonna be honest, it's a uh, it's quite um, the play. It's quite yeah, the it's play. uh it's not where you want to be. Um, they will secure the res though on that chamber, and we are be we're back to even ground for the most part. And as Yakobu defeats Jackson, Brad looking for that headshot. Oh, picks up wow. one and yeah. Kingslayer gets yeah. a two K there. Big really? win. On their Ghost Brett, Recon, Wildlands, <laughs> Synchronized Shooting. It, it was so fast that they you both know, died at the same time. Brett had to look at that op for a while before he decided, you know, I'm not giving the defenders a free op if we take this and lose it. Yeah. Um, there's no. There's really no point. Chamber will have his alt up this round. So, interested to see if he uses that. Um, it will be, yeah. I, definitely I, the map to have Chamber on. Honestly, that's... I completely agree. Chamber is, to me, he's, super, he's superbly strong. I mean, you get him in the right spots, you set up your traps correctly, you get those teleports correctly, he can be a menace. He does and bring out the tour to force, though, yep. which which can be dangerous he if put in the right hands. He is going to use his, uh, his teleport there early, though. Yeah, the cooldown on that is, is a, it's, it's shorter than if you were to use it while you are still setting up for buy phase. So it's, it's, uh, I don't know if it's cut in half completely, but it does uh, get longer. But he will stay in B main as SMSU decides to go for But not a single in. SMSU member to even contest that over not there. Not a soul in sight. He's going to rotate over here. SMSU does have to contest with the Sage Wall, but they've got the ability to rotate off here if they want to, and it looks like that is what they're going to be doing. Jackson, of course, holding down the back part of their spawn. And yeah, and you now, can see here the Hornets have already made that full rotation to A, leaving B completely open. The Tour de Force now on the A main, but they decide to go back to A, which might cost them deeply now that they push have through the smoke angles. here. Don't even have the sky flashes to push through there quite oh. yet. Uzi's gonna find Beast Mod. Kingslayer finds Uzi, but Strats with the with the sheriff, real oh, deadly wow. with it. Clinging on the life, just barely with that. Fred just doing a little bob and weave there with the with the crouch, just oh hanging on death. Gotta door. get that shot. Gonna throw some shots out here from Jackson. To try and not get him traded back. The bond is stranded on site, so they do have to push through. Oh! And now Jackson lasts the life. He gets one. He gets Finds two. two. Can he get three. Can Finds he get three. three. And oh Jackson. Oh my God! With the three K clutch, one v three. I I was gonna say that at, at that point I was insane. like, you know, in a situation like that, right? I, I got to contain myself a little bit, but like. Oh, at, I, I pretty, I'm whole... pretty sure I peaked. I'm pretty sure I just broke some people's <laughs> looking, eardrums. Looking but... at the entire situation at hand, you have bombs stranded on site. You can't really rotate out because there's not, there's, you don't have the bomb. So that was, it was risky, right? And it almost looked super dire. Well, that, but somehow that was, he, um... he, he dug down deep. And, and got some big plays off of it, and that was, oh, my god. That goodness. was a map. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> unfortunate off of the, what off a of the massive round win. Just gets taken out by that Odin. Yeah, that, that um, the classic. That'll happen, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's all reliable at this point. You, you know, you've pl played this game for so long. It's like, if you're going to play on the Sun, you might as well have the, the Sova with Odin Ooh, chilling. Ooh, smart. <laughs> got to oh get away god. from that opper. Stared down the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> right down the barrel. Now we're kind of sitting in a spot where SMSU is a little bit split. Not entirely sure what they want to do, but Bomb will remain on B. But right now it's not looking too hot. Yakubo getting in there for the second kill. Hornets has a two-man advantage. Going to be massive for him. Wilkin kind of stranded in cellar. Has to oh. kind of peek and wiggle out here to try and get out. Piece of bread will take out the jet, however. But uh, they are going to try and make that transition from yeah. mid Woken, to not really A. sure where to look here. Not quite sure where they are, but... Oh, we got a fire fight. Yep, Straws will take out the piece of bread, catching him in tree. 
They're gonna smoke. Woken will smoke off the beast mod, giving him clear a clear exit to kind of get out of there. But now they're stuck in hell. Beast mod did pick up that op from. I don't believe that's his. I don't. Yeah, no, I believe. You bought the op. I believe he picked. Oh, oh, but they gotta wow. contend with the Odin. That's oh, not wow. good. And he still got the shot off. Oh my goodness, can she? Oh, oh Woken! It's down what to are one. You doing? It's down to one. Rosario with the Odin. He knows they're both in hell. He's gonna have to play this smart here. He does miss. He does get clipped with the op shot. He's gonna stay down though. He needs to take these shots. Get risky. He oh, he Picks gets up. the woken, but woken. will he be able to take? He the knows beast mod? where he is. Oh, and, and he will. Unfortunately, picks up beast mod there. Beast mod and misses his op shot, time. and that will be a nice little clutch and a free. Well, not a free op, but oh. a return op for the Hornets. I, I we have we have had, quite the game on our hands. We've I think. had we've had two back to back clutch rounds here from their respective teams uh great plays by rosario and that whole thing the odin and a dream you know you gotta love it but of course smsu still up still looking pretty good so far they can still handle this they but do, right they now do they do have need a bit to... of an economy advantage yeah that's for um, sure. in terms over the hornets horns going to be forced on to do two specters this round um and had they not recovered that op from last round they probably wouldn't have bought um Rosaria, I believe, just biffed one of his shock shock darts there. Um, no, nah, that was for that was. I, I feel like that was completely intentional. I think was that, I, I I don't play Sova, so I I, I don't know if that if that was an that's actual. That's the lineup. magic of Sova, right? <laughs> you think like, oh, this isn't gonna hit, and then it does. Like we saw at the beginning with the double shock dart, uh, yeah, you know, I, like. And it, I think that might have been what he was going for again. Um, maybe that's how he did it before because he got both yeah. of the shock darts to yeah. land at the same time, so he had to shoot. You know, there's a delay, so he had to shoot one of them sooner, but it had to have a longer travel time. So exactly. it's probably what was going on. Um, didn't quite catch that the first time it came out. Piece of bread's going to drop the Killjoy alt here, and SMSU is going to try and push onto site. Jacobo, only one there. Strauss picks up Woken on the flank. Ooh, oh, oh the bread. Piece of bread just a little too late. Trying to peek the corner, trying to make sure the team is safe, but he will get opt. And now we go back to the situation oh, King again. Kingslayer in a real interesting rat spot. I believe that is that's SMSU's Astra Alt. So yep, great location for Kingslayer to be holding in. Um, when the alt does come out here from the Sova on attack, of course, just gonna throw it out there. Oh, he will get that shot though. Kingslayer trying to get a little aggressive, but doesn't pick up anybody. Now Jackson last alive, oh, can he clutch no. it again? But Uzi's gonna get the 3K for the round with the op, and that's gonna be a Hornets round win. Yeah, it was gonna be quite the feat if he was gonna be able to take out both of them in quick succession, but it wasn't in the cards, and they will be going up 4-5 right now. Still, at this point in time, this is still looking this like anyone's, anyone's game at this game. point. You know, we see Uzi still with the op. We have Rosario with the own, which has been so reliable for him this whole time so far. It's gotten him through some pretty clutch situations. Meanwhile, on the side of SMSU, Woken, the only member not really able to, not really going for anything right now, just using the pistol, but she does have her ult, so she's going to be able to use the knives. Mm -hmm. So mostly everyone's going to be looking pretty decent, but this yep. round is going to determine a lot. Yeah, we've got three rounds left, and whoever, whichever team loses this round is going to be real broke. Yeah, this is this this win ha is going to be big for either oh, team. Oh, Uzi trying to look for something, but there's three members of SMSU who's got to look at as well as the oh oh woke it out here with the knives. Got to watch out for hey, that. Hey man, she heard you talking crap. Hey hey, <laughs> I wasn't talking nothing. I was just you weren't talking. Just, yeah, you were you're just saying how it is. Oh, and she's coming out with the vengeance. Gets her third one on the round. Okay, maybe she did. Might still she might has the knives. Bit. Picks up the vandal, but oh. gonna get picked up by Yoshi there. Unfortunately. But that's a great way to set the tone, though. You have sight. The two members of the <laughs> Hornets stuck in heaven at the moment. Isn't much they could do right now, but Ooh, Yoshi, Yoshi with pick wings. Up one. Oh, gonna good. look to pick up, up the two. second, but runs out of bullets. The reload cheese always be me. Not gonna, not gonna chance. It's just gonna back off here. But, you know, it's like I'm not gonna go for it. The alarm bot does go off. He does get the information. Time is ticking. I think at this point it would just be best for Yoshi with wings to get out of dodge, but. You can see Beast Mod is right there to catch him. Off and he guard. does. And he will with the Vando. And he's going to take him out. And that's going to secure this one. Big win on the side of SMSU. Jackson they do got an op does now. pick up that op. Um, 
Hornets are pretty broke here. Yeah. They can't afford two rifles, and I, I think if you're the Hornets, you got to try and win this round. Um, you you got to try and win these last two. You don't have any flashes for defense, um, and as we know, SMSU on defense on ascent. A little nasty. Yeah. Uh, you know, you see a lot of attack as, with SMSU where it can, it can kind of go – a little bit hit or miss, they but they do do pretty well. But it's when they lock it down on defense that really sets it for me. If, if they get that and they if they have it at the oh, beginning, it's Brad a gets, sure gets advantage. peeked out and picked oh, off by wow. Rosario's alt there. I was gonna ask you if we had time if you think that uh, Sacramento should invest their alt resources into this round or just try and do the save and get what they can for as strong of a next round as they can. But you can see they've already. Kind of expended a lot of yep, their ult, and it's been kind of working. Sage. They do have Sage Res. Um, well, they did have Astra all, but Astra is did. dead. Yep, they lost so, their Astra. Oh, this is going oh, to be big. Oh. That's a shorty, and that is an unfortunate push. Yep. Um, it's, I'm surprised they, they, they not I, only peaked... Uh, they not only held that corner, but they held it crouching as well. So they knew even if they looked in that corner, they had to look down. I'm kind of surprised so. Woken pushed that far, to be honest. Yeah, um, that was that was because um, they she could just stay on site and um, retain control of site without pushing that far up. You know, putting herself into a situation where she has to, uh, you know, go into a non-optimal range. Ooh, that shock dart was um, disgusting. It's gonna it's it's not gonna kill for sure if he was able to get it, but he's gonna know the stage is there. Beast mod here. I'm pretty sure a little scared that he doesn't want to cross. And he's got two other members. Jet Uzi does have the alt out. Oh. But Beast Mod's going to peek out. Oh. Pick him up. Pick up Yakubo as well. And now Jackson, last life, only has 13 seconds. So doesn't have Beast Mod with him. Going to peek out. Gets picked up there. He's have Beast to Mod plant. doesn't have time. He has, a, he, I believe he has Might at have least enough. four seconds Might to have plant. Enough, but he's going to get peeked. And Rosario's going to pick him up. Rosario with the 4K. The 4K. I mean... What was the biggest thing, in your opinion, that caused that round to, to lose? I think, um, in, in, in my opinion, I think it was when I they started going downhill with with Woken, I think. Yeah, I don't I don't like that Woken pushed that far. Um, yeah. I think she could she could have hold, held that down um, from a much better angle. And maybe a little bit of lack of awareness from her, maybe not being calmed by the other SMSU players that um, – that, Hornets would be on a save round, maybe yeah. not paying attention to that economy as well. Um, yeah, I think the only thing that I could think of was that she, when she was pushing that, it was probably to get into position in alley to kind of look down toward heaven to catch mm -hmm. rotates, but she was not expecting the jet already there as this fight has already been getting there. Now down a member with Sova thanks to the suppression fire by uh, <laughs> by Rosario on their side to kind of just start setting the tone. Like, yeah, Don't I come think, this way. I think SMSU's got a real... Well, and this is the last round right on yeah. attack so like they they're not going to be able to like counterplay against rosario strat there but rosario's done that multiple times and gotten multiple kills so far um, yeah it's, and it's I, been I, a bane in the side i think if smsu you know knows that he's going to do that you just don't push that right away um yeah. it lets them know that they're that he's there yeah you know it, it's good it's a good way to get the information to kind of bait him make him do it and then you say okay so he's over here now we have at least someone over here that we know. Plant going down onto A site from Jackson. Rez going to come out from Ooh. Straws. Ooh, the but swarm grade does come out. A little bit of damage out. from the swarm. Woken picks up Uzi there. Says she is the better jet. Yeah, I mean, there can only be one, right? Yeah, now 4v4. A lot of SMSU resources have been taken so far. Jackson on the guarding here in the bottom, so not going to be the greatest. Woken getting spotted out there oh, by the wall comes out. Rosario's. Oh, and they just um, take him out. Recon dart. There we go. There's the words. A um, little bit of brain fart. Hey, it, it, there's a lot going on Two right here. Two members of SMSU in hell. Woken picks up Rosario. And now Straws. Oh, Jacobo only left alive. But Woken oh. does screw up their crosshair placement a little go bit. For the knife. Jackson go gets for the a knife, knife kill. <laughs> and he will secure it for SMSU. That's honestly a really good way to get into the next half. You got mm -hmm. that momentum. And, of course, a little cheeky play with the knife kill. They weren't going to be able to defuse it, but oh my goodness, again, uh, SMSU almost uh, not giving up the round there. They, they fought hard. You know, Woken died there, but I think that's a great dash from her because they're both, both her yeah. and Jackson are stuck in hell. It and makes so you look she one way. dashes out and it yeah. screws up, it completely screws up the, it splits the crosshair placement from Straws and Jacobo. Yeah, and um, it's, so, it's so split second because now you're like, okay, so who's going to look back? 
You know, you can't. It, it's so split second where you're like, do mm-hmm. I look back? Does my teammate look back? Who's going to keep watching the other spot? Yeah, and it's you don't have the time to communicate that. Exactly. It's, so uh, you got to either have that chemistry or yeah. just. You look one way, and you hope something happens. The, the Woken Redemption arc begins. <laughs> that was a really good play by <laughs> Woken. Uh, just kind of able to hold it down and secure that victory for this next half to start. Rosario here on Cat. Going to be pushed by Woken. Not going to exchange shots. Just going to back off. Woken does. Oh, sorry. That's Uzi, not Woken. Yeah, I know. SMSU was on defense. Oh, piece of bread on, on <laughs> B-side defense. Oh, you're in for a rough. You're in for a rough oh, time. Oh yeah. You're in for a rough he time. He locks down that site real well. And again, we can see similar uh, defensive positioning here from Jackson and Beastmod here that we saw from the Hornets last last uh, last half. Yeah. Um, very similar. You know, it's it's a really good contact play too, because um, Jackson, he, depending on who peaks what angle, either Jackson can take first contact or Beastmod can. Yeah. Um, and then whoever does take first contact, they can easily trade off of each other. Um, SMSU playing very, very patiently on defense as they normally do. Yeah, and the Hornets also not really committing to anything. Oh, the just King's there. Yet. He's going to encounter quite a few members here. He's going to have all to be walking. able to be ready. Oh, but that trigger discipline. Oh, he gets one, and that. Oh, and it starts to fall apart for the Hornets here as they get three members on the site. Oh, Woken, well, going to go up, up against uh, oh. Uzi there. Yeah, and, and <laughs> just the kills. Body blocked a little and bit. The bodies are dropping. It took almost the entire round, and now with only ten seconds left, Sova, not sure what to do here. Yeah, Rosario last alive. Bombs on site. Gets peaked by two members of SMSU, and they will secure that. The right click doesn't connect. Um, you know, Kingslayer doesn't like that right click on uh. Yeah, the he, classic that much. He, he uh, I was I was this, certain this when he had that trigger discipline. I'm like, okay, he's waiting. easy, easy right click one, right click the other, nah. double kill. He went for he just went for the old reliable. Just go with the trigger. <laughs> just shoot as fast as you can click, and it worked out for him. It, it, it helped him out for the team at least. And uh, great plays by everyone on SMSU. I think mm-hmm. the biggest thing that they did was cause them to be you know caught behind. And you can see here with the Marshall Uzwi with Marshall on the yeah, attack. I, I think it's going to be really... I, I'm i curious to see how the rest of these rounds play out um, on attack from the Hornets. I just... I think it's going to be so hard for them to, yeah. like, get onto site and fight through the Killjoy utility, the Astra utility, um, without any flashes. Yeah, it's going to be extremely hard. Uh, when you, you get smoked up by Astra, what are you going to do? you got to back up. You're not going to... You can't use anything else, mm-hmm. really. And then on the side of with, with Killjoy, she just literally keeps you off of site. There's not much you can do to initiate anything because you don't have a flash. You don't got really much. Yeah, and I mean, the Sage will in a scent, like, Sage is always a really useful agent because yeah. her, her alt is so powerful that res and the slow orbs are really good too. But there's not, like, a lot of really great Sage wall places on there's a only, set maybe necessarily. A, there's only, like, three, and that would be <laughs> B main, A main, and mid. I mean, you can maybe ch- and you can maybe you argue don't want to be doing that to yourself when you're on attack because then you're cutting off one of your rotation spots if you want. Exactly. To. Um, a you know, cypher can do just as good as a, as a sage wall oh, in my opinion. Kingslayer, learning what that piss, what that uh, classic right, right, click. right click is about. Yep, yep. And he's gonna pay the price. But oh my goodness, dodging bullets like Neo out here oh, able to get look the crouch. Look how low. Oh, 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 Woken misses the updraft, unfortunately. I would have probably went into hell. I think that probably would have hit behind a box at least, but going for the jump dash onto heaven is quite the play. They will get bombed Rosario down. Rosario and Jacobo are both really low here, and oh. as I say that, Jackson pops down, picks up both of them. Systematic destruction. Uh, <laughs> that was what I just witnessed. The, the, of I the mean, timing, they, they both the, only needed, like, one specter bullet. <laughs> yeah, they, like, they were very low on health. I, it didn't help the fact that a lot of the Hornets members, if not all of them in that s- instance at least, were kind of grouped up, lined up, just ready to take a bullet. Uh, they weren't didn't have enough time to really set up anything. And I was surprised that they all pushed in at the same time. And it looks like we will be going into a timeout for at least a little bit, which yeah, for a minute. at this point I, I can I can un- I can understand. This has been quite the game. Yep, I I think if you're the Hornets, you got to figure out what your game plan is here for uh, attack. Um, yeah, I really think that they needed to come out of D. De- I, you know, we'll, we'll get to see how the rest of the game goes. But um, I just early early before the match has been decided. 
I do think that they needed to win some more rounds on defense. Um, their defense was pretty potent. Yeah. Um, it definitely left a dent if, in SMSU. If a little cheesy with the Soba plays and how much value they got out of that. I will say that first, the first, you know, couple of Sova like darts at the initial round were were absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it, it really just set up yeah. the rest of the, those rounds. I, I, I'm specifically talking about the Odin play. Yeah, I think course. they got the a Odin little plays. bit more value out of that than they should have. Yeah, I think um, I think SMSU might have just overextended a little bit too much on that B main. I, maybe they weren't expecting him to do it all the time, but when something works, you're going to keep doing it, right? Yeah. I mean, that's just how it is. Uh, I'm surprised. I, w I was actually going to be surprised if the Beast Mod just takes an Odin up and then he starts doing it, you know? <laughs> like, uh, Hey, Piece of Bread's got that Ares, man. Yeah, I mean, he's probably going to go for something somewhat similar. He's going to use the... Uh, the Ares instead, but he, it actually looks like he's going to be kind of just kind of going between both. He, I do see he placed his alarm bots down toward mid, kind of help out with the Astra so they don't have to always peek and be safe for the most part. Uzi's easily getting all these sound cues from a uh, piece of bread over here oh, jumping up and arrow. down. Arrow comes out, Ares shots coming through onto B, not connecting with anybody. Um, oh, they I think one of them, one of them hit the sage. Yeah, it, it's very just one. It's very minuscule, but he does get some damage that Sage could heal. I, mm -hmm. mean, it, I mean, if you think about it, it's like, well, do I use my heal on myself? <laughs> but of course, I mean, obviously, you're not going to do that because that's just the way to yeah. heal. Um, trying to get some more shots out of that. Uh, Dark comes out from Rosario. Does ping out Beast Mod, so Beast Mod going to try and back off into a decent location. Um, SMSU on the bonus round here up against um, the full buy. Oh, piece of bread might got a little bit of damage on that jet, but the swarm grenade will cover his back just a little bit before he goes down. Rosario is hurt, though. And he will be Jackson ratting here in market. Kind of expects somebody else to be pushing up from mid. Gets a lot of damage Ooh. out on the chamber. Rosario's the pretty hurt here as well. Actually, damage on every single member of... Uh, of the Hornets. Of Hornets. Um, Jackson going to pick up Rosario there. He's going to have to be cautious They've here. got three men on site. One of them defuses. Hornets got to push on fast. Yeah, they don't really have a way to get in except pushing. They are. They did They did stop the defuse there with the Astra Suck, but Jacobo gets picked up there and now. Oh. Yoshi will last get the alive, defuse off. but defuse going to come through. And Yoshi will save, or at least be able to save with their mm -hmm. rifle so at least one of the members of the hornets will be having a rifle yeah, in this round that's a massive round win by the way for smsu like that was, that was a bonus round they picked up rifles yeah they they they, they, got, they got a roll over two rifles from that the other members get a full buy this round yeah. um and um hornets on the other hand gonna be hurting pretty bad yeah i think and we talked about this a lot too in the, during the timeout that that if they just want a couple more rounds in defense this game would probably be a little bit mm -hmm. different. Yeah, and, and look at their buy. They're forced onto two sheriffs, a marshal, yeah. and a hero vandal because, I mean, they they have to, like, win a round now. If they lose this round, this should be SMSU match. Yeah, um, there's not a lot that they can do to climb back if yeah, they lose this. I believe Jackson does spot out Uzi there um, on the jump peak um, just, just based off of his, uh, his movement there. Ooh, Woken will take first blood, taking out Yoshi. So that's going to definitely uh, hurt the Hornets here. They have a lot to do. Oh, and they're going to see the Jet does get hit and will be shot from behind by Woken as Yakobu takes out the Beast Mode with that patented yeah, headhunter. Yeah, and now the Hornets kind of stranded over here in B main. Aren't even pushed up in the hallway yet. And that's a piece of bread looking for some blood. Oh, yeah. He's coming on the lurk. He picks up Rosario. Down. There's two. Picks up Jacobo, and that's going to be an SMSU round win. You, you don't want to stand still. I you think can't. that, that is, uh, that's more than likely going to be match here yeah. for SMSU um, unless the Hornets can really pull something out here. Um, yeah, and, I, and I'm kind of in that same boat as well. I mean – when it comes to piece of oh, bread, they do they do have a full buy, so they do have I, a chance. I, I do I do take that back a little bit. I didn't think they'd be able to uh, full buy this round, um, but they bought smartly last last they round. Did. They they, they just bought at the at the level they needed to be at, and they were at the three round uh, income loss cap. So if they win this, this is going to be big. Will it guarantee anything? It nothing's ever no, for sure. No, if, if I mean if they win this. 
they do a little bit of damage to SMSU's economy, but SMSU's economy is uh, it's a steep mountain. It's, it's yeah, it's big. It's very um, big. There's not much you can do even winning this round this at is, this time. Yeah, if they win this round, it's the beginning of a rebuild. Yeah, it is not the sh it's it, not like, the it's, rebuild itself. It, it's the foundation that you could make a rebuild on. Yeah, we got the blueprint. Oh, and oh. Beastbot gets three pings off of that, so SMSU is gonna know that there is a lot going on on the A site. And the world divided will come out. Of course, it's gonna it's gonna help a little bit for the attackers, but at the moment, it's like, what do you do? Look at Woken watching as they enter in through tree, and they're gonna be able to get on the site here with Jet, the only one on there. Oh, and they can't but hear Piece anything. of Bread gets a 2K. Oh, and they oh. <laughs> oh, and they couldn't hear it. Who's we couldn't hear anything? Oh no! You know, I I think. <laughs> well, it's not even that, confusing. That was absolutely disrespectful. Um, I, uh, I and they do get op. Welcome to we'll pick up the op for this one. That that was a uh, that was Yoshi's world divided too. I they used it against them. Um, you know, I think it would have been fine, but piece of bread gets that two K on a main, and, and that, like that it just shuts down any of the value because then uh, Uzi can't. You know, he doesn't get. A, he's just kind of screwed out when he, when the two members of his team die um, in main because like yeah. if he has the two members in main they can easily contest that bomb and then they yeah. don't necessarily know that uzi is moving around really fast um behind the world divided yeah um but and you also can't really hear the bomb either with the world divided yeah as well. exactly it, so it completely takes out all like and it was so close to hell as well it, there was just a lot of factors that came into play with that round and now but that's gonna be so close to match point here this 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 is going to be in their bag. Look how Beastmont pushed up easily. SMSU is out on the map. So they aggressive. They have full mid control. Yeah. They they essentially have isolation across the map yeah. except for B and A main. And they're they're expecting them to maybe make a move, but they are committing to this push and it's going to be uh Well, you know, they're oh. they're all over on the map, right? Yeah. But, but they to, have an Astra. Look how look how <laughs> quick they're able to close in. As, but Ooh. but they are getting some shots off. However, they do get bombed down. But Jackson with the op on on Rosario will take him out. Three v three situation. Now, Kobo is in an interesting oh. spot. Has his alt out. Uses the tour he to force. Pinged out there by the um, by the recon bolt. by the recon dart. Doesn't Yacobo, misses though. two of his shots. Whoa and whoa hold up. There might be a little spot. too much dip. He's on got the a chip feeling right now. He's got a little feeling. Oh, he just takes oh, a shot in the dart. Just 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 shoot. Just do it. This could this could still be the round here. Oh, oh he's able to secure one. He has to go for the defuse. The suck does come out, but he's shooting right in the wrong corner. Pulled him a little too close. To, but that's uh, I if he uh, sticks it here. It oh, won't do it. he did. We won't get it. It it was just enough to secure the victory, at least for that round. For the so Hornets. Hornets live to breathe another round. Yep, yep. And they have an op. They do have the op. They um, do have a a very broke sage sitting at a uh, zero cred, but they do have a rifle. Uh, they have to put. Uh, it, they it gotta go for mean, broke. Yeah, they have to. <laughs> they have to go all in on this. Your uh, your credits don't do anything for you when uh when you're no longer in the match. Yeah, it does not help you at all. You have to put everything into oh, it. We do Jackson's see Sova. Be out of judge. I do see Sova and Sage with their ults, which could help them out, but they have to keep them alive in order to do so. And right off the jump, Uzui almost gets killed immediately. Uh, the only reason she's even still breathing yeah. is because she took that jump and, and hit her in the leg. SMSU got some good defensive resources. They can just leave Piece of Bread to anchor on B on his own um, because he has his he has his alt. Um, so if they really want to get funky with him, you just throw that down. Yeah, um, and that's gonna activate push him his away. activate his utility like. They're not doing anything. Util. He has his utils all across the board on that side. No point going that way. But that's perfect manipulation of the map. Because now you know. If you've locked down one side and they don't come through that way, yep. well, guess where they're going to be? SMS, you're getting that Soba drone into mid. So Beastman will get some info for his team. And after he gets that info, he's going to rotate straight over to A. He's got a funky feeling. He's got a hunch. <laughs> and usually... He's got an idea. <laughs> usually, Ooh, piece of bread is Rosario correct. does pick up Woken there. Um, Jackson is on the judge here, so A site, if he can get onto it, is going to be decent for him, but he's got to make sure he avoids those close angles. And, and just like that, the Killjoy. Yeah, that lockdown. 
Lockdown coming out. Coming out. And they're not even going to try and, and make a move here. They're not even going to try and destroy it. This is going to hurt them extremely bad, though. At least the Sage. Oh, and Chamber Brad also. Brad going to find one. He can detain the other. The other one is detained. I think he thinks that they're... He oh, doesn't no. exactly know. He, he stuck it halfway, but it's behind oh. you, Brad. He that didn't is know. unfortunate. He had no clue. Now, in that situation, Afro, do you think it's better for Bread to get the halfway or to or go, go and clear kill. out Hal? You go for... If you if you know two members are detained, right, you have to just at least clear sight. Yeah, there's obviously like, oh, they could be main, right? But now that you've cleared all of sight, you can at least now mm -hmm. make that assumption. They have to be in main because that's the only other spot they can yeah, be. Yeah, you don't leave yourself with a guessing game there. Yeah, um, you don't. You don't want to. It, I, and that's what cost is. SMSU big. here going for a half bite. I don't like this. Um, I think I. I don't like they lose the two rounds, right? Yeah, you're still in a oh, fine position. Oh, they're pushing up. You can lose this round and half buy. Oh, or, go down. I one. mean, like you can lose this round. Yeah, on a full save, and then. Just be confident that the next round you're going to be on a full buy, and yeah. you're able to bring it back. But the half buy push is definitely an interesting play. It's it's more effective on a ta on defending because you can control your engagement ranges, right? Yeah, like that's why that's why Jackson can like pick the judge and pick uh, pick the Bucky here because he knows he can play in this range where they're going to have to push into him. But you know. Oh, Yoshi with wings, though, is going to be able to take out both Jackson and Woken here. Piece of bread taken out by Strauss, and it's going to just be the Kingslayer as the op has been used on Uzui. And, yeah, the, the, and now, you know, SMSU is just forced in a really awkward position. Um, they can still buy. They have alt on Astra here. Yeah, but... Uh, but at, but look I don't, at the difference. See, uh, I don't know. There's so much. So there's so. We were talking about like the start of the rebuild a few rounds ago. Yeah, exactly. The rebuild this, is now happening. The rebuild has happened. Yeah. Um. Yeah. They need to get three more rounds before we go into. Actually, they need to get four rounds before we go into overtime. Yeah. Um. We're gonna have to see how they play here. Of course, Uzwi is watching with op down mid. So if she catches. Well, not, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to say Uzui's watching down mid, but Uzui's right gonna, there uh, in A main. I'm looking at Vulcan in mid. <laughs> interesting play from Kingslayer there. Um, I actually I actually kind of like that. Um, brings down the door, but then breaks it himself so that uh, that resource isn't there yeah. there's for no, Hornets to use. They can't use it. They, they, it takes out that kind of, that, that, that whole plan of like, okay, we plant, and then we close the door. Now there's no door. Yeah. Now you have now you have another um, angle you gotta look out for. Now Hornets, they do have Sage, they do have Sage Alt, and they do have Astra Alt. So, two really high impact Alt. Ooh, Beast Mod. Beast mod. Are you oh, but he goes for oh, the door. Oh no! The timing. The timing is so unfortunate there, and Rosario gonna pick him up. Oh, now but Woken. Woken. Oh, again. Only gets one when it looks like she could have gotten a couple. Kingslayer ratting here in the corner and. I think at this point you you have to ask yourself the question if the Hornets just getting those two round ones have gotten an SMSU's head. It's and got my to. answer would have to be yes. I think so. Because I don't I don't think you make the decisions to half buy a last round unless you're feeling really, really forced. Jack's gonna find Can Jackson two? do it? Jackson's in a tough oh, spot. No. And it won't Brand be enough. Runs it's out up of bullets and of now bread. bread. Last alive, 1v2 situation. They check for they check for heaven. They're shooting out the darts. Dart goes two over for one, doesn't hit him on the other. So they have no idea oh, he's still there, bread. but the jet is watching. An and unfortunate. it's going it to be Uzwi with the win here. Now putting this deficit from what was a certified win. Now looking a little rocky. Looking pretty rocky. Um, SMSU, I... They're, they're, don't like I. The ego has been shaken. I don't know. That, I don't know how I feel about the, the buy. The buys um, here are looking. They, they, are, they are capped. They are orthodox. capped on loss income. Yeah. So they they can't afford a little bit more um, than typical. Um, but here's the play, right? Because you look at their guns. It's a lot of like one and done shots or you got to get close range you got to those close they, angles they are doing a smart force here where they're pushing up b main so they know that there's no they know that there's no pressure b oh but, but jackson. they don't have anybody watching uh mid so jackson's gonna fall there and that's gonna um, leave that's gonna leave the hornets with an entirely open 
a main to just kind of have their way with here. And uh, it's going to be up to SMSU to try and work this retake world as Divided the World Divided does, does come, come out, out. But that's not going to help them really at all because there's no SMSU players that, oh, well, maybe there are some. They might be using the wall as an advantage for them to go through, but the bird does come out. That's going to alert the chamber. Uzi picks up Beast Mod there. And now Jacobo playing down in hell. Has that World Divided he can mix in and out of and... You know, similar setup to what we oh, saw when uh, Uze was uh, stranded by the World Divided. Um, they've got two members in A main. They've got an extra member this time around, so he's sitting in... Uh, Left completely exposed. And that is a flawless, that actually. That was a flawless victory by the Hornets there. This, All right. this is completely... This, this round around. right here, this is the round where SMSU either wins the game or we're probably going into overtime. Yeah, because um, this if, has been lost after... Look at the timeline. It's been 5 for 5 on both teams yep. here. SMSU needs to hunker down. They need to look at their mistakes here. Look at the ults. You got Astros. You got Sobas. You got Killjoys. You have a way to kind of keep they, them at bay. They have the resources to win this round. They just have to Woken win the round. does decide to pick up the op. Has the... Um, has the light shield with it. Oh, Gonna get an early shot. pick there, which is massive for SMSU. They know that Spike's there, so they know that that was a possible B hit. Woken's not going to stay in the location where she could easily get traded back, though, which is good. Oh. Ooh, he's going to throw some shots through, just barely missing Yoshi there. Woken out here uh, with bloodlust. <laughs> um, Got the shot off, and now she's like, I want, I want some more. Give me some more. There is actually a Sage Wall down in B main, so um, Hornets have committed themselves to having to push into B or yeah. having to push in the mid or A or to see break Jet. the wall. Yeah, Jet kind of hiding in spawn, just kind of waiting for a, a just some kind of plan right now. Because that op shot, even though they got him back, it's going to be still, we ha they have op. We got to play smart. Um, oh, beast mod. Dangerous location. Last line of defense here in mid. And I think he's going to suss it out. He's going to run away. Yeah, he knows. He knows. <laughs> if it, if he didn't know then, he definitely knows now. It was a cheeky alarm bot from Killjoy, actually. Um, piece of bread able to get that one um, for that mid market push. Um, they have thirty seconds to make a play here. They need oh, to do Beast something. Beastmod sees some people. Jackson does pick up Yakabo there. Piece of bread will piece take of out picks straws. Up straws. It's going to be Woken taking out Uzui, leaving it just Yoshi and Rosario. And as soon as seconds. I say that, they just need to buy time here. There Bomb goes is the down. <laughs> oh, and by the skin of their teeth, in an almost uh, very uh, closely contested game at that end, yeah, they will secure the victory. That was uh, looking pretty dire for a while. Yeah, um, yeah, I would say that was. Uh, that was quite the game. It uh, was looking very, I, I mean, we've both been in those games. When yeah. you're up so many rounds, your adrenaline's going, you're like hyped up, you're ready to go. You're feeling the good. The second you lose that first round, it hurts. after you're off of a streak of five rounds like that, Yeah. Um, it is brutal and like... It can hurt um, so bad. You know, I was talking about this uh, in the Rocket League game before this, mm. um, where, you know, mentality in esports, <laughs> The mental game it's a roller is coaster. so important and it's so hard. And I think, you know, Rocket League's really nice because it's five minutes. You play a five minute match. Okay, we lost that match. Let's five minute reset. One. Valorant yeah. is the exact opposite. It is a you absolute war. Locked in. Yeah. For I mean, so look at the time right now. We, it's like we've, we've had twenty three rounds. We have we had twenty three rounds in this one match. Yeah. Um I don't think we're gonna get to the thirty-seven rounds. Um, if it's playing it's like, only if it's possible playing like if it's this, a complete blowout. Yeah, if and it's, that's it's uh, even there's that. no shot that that happens. Um, and I mean, with even, the way that the Hornets were playing this this game, this um, was this was a fight. I, yeah, I, I liked the drive by the Hornets. You know, we we had them locked in like this is gonna be an easy you know looking game at least for game one. They kind of got in their element with the defense, but then that, that mm -hmm. ego that we've seen so much by SMSU starts to kind of show and start to creep out a little bit. And you saw them get absolutely shaken. Five straight rounds, back to back. Went from a 12-5 to a, 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 a now a 13-10. I mean, that's got to hit the, the SMSU. They still get the win, but it's like, look at mm -hmm. how far we had to fight to get that win. Yeah, I, 
I think that was a really good game too because there's like there's clear ways that SMSU could have played that better. Yeah. Um that when they go and do VOD review on this, um, you know, in the coming week or so, um, there's a lot that you can learn from that game. Yeah. Um yeah. I think the biggest thing for me is not is not getting um is not getting not letting the team get value off of strategies that they're already using on you once. Yeah. And like I've, with the Odin play, um, I know I've said that so many times, but... Um, more reliable. <laughs> what, yeah. What can I, I say? Uh, but, I mean, we'll we'll have to see how they go because the next map is going to be Haven, and we have not seen SMSU on a Haven map in so, so long. It's been very, mm -hmm. very long since I've seen that. So I'm excited to see where we go from there. But at least for now, we will see you guys in about five or so minutes while well, we set up for game two, so we'll be right back.
want me to intro you? I got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we back. Game two. <laughs> we, uh, you know, we had a little bit of a break. Just to kind of recollect ourselves after that uh, banger of a game. <laughs> no cap. I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was on the edge of my seat. I liked the fight coming from yeah, Sacramento. Yeah. I was really liking that whole game. It was very close. I'm really excited for this Haven game. And also, shout out to the Sacramento people in chat. I acknowledge you. You're welcome. I respect you. <laughs> Everyone's we, welcome we, here we in love, the Mustang zone. We love to zone. see some support. Love to see some uh, viewership from the schools we're facing. So I mean, I, you, I, uh, y'all, y'all got some players in the, in the team right now. <laughs> y'all got some players. I'm, I'm looking at them. I'm like, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Also, speaking of players, we got a new player on both teams. Jandy is actually going to be playing Astra. Uh, and That's going to be interesting. And on the side of Aoi Kitsune. We uh we well we gotta wait we got a little bit of time to wait. So but, Jackson uh, will uh, Jackson will be taking up the mantle of Sova this game. Um, that'll be interesting. Um, yeah. Typically he's the standard controller player for SMSU, so um, he's got some real crispy aim. But we always get to see him doing them lurks and uh, using that game sense real effectively. So see if he can do similar things there on Sova. Um, yeah. Beast mod gonna be back on his sky, so I'm sure he'll be feeling great. Bread. On that Killjoy, um, Woken classically on the jet. So yeah, gotta um, keep Woken on jet. That seems to be the play going on here. Jackson now taking up the Beast Mod spot as Sova. It's gonna be quite a change of pace. We don't actually we don't see a lot of Haven coming from SMSU, but it's always nice to get that nice you know change of mm -hmm. pace. You know we always see Ascent, you know the the, the usual suspects, right? But we back here with um, the with one with in my opinion, I think this is a really fun map to watch things like as they yeah. happen. Yeah. Um, so Ash Afro, um, yeah, I just about called you Astro for some reason. Uh, you know that works too. <laughs> um, Astro Afro over there. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, what's up? What member of Sacramento State? Yeah, is you are you looking out for this game? <sighs> That's a tough question. You know, we saw some big plays by you know Rosario, by Yoshi. We saw. Uh, I, I'm. I think I'm it's really intrigued. hard to choose. I'm actually intrigued about how Katuna is going to play. I because I want to see how the skies kind of interact. With I each other. was uh, Straws. I see you. I saw you last game. Um, I'm seeing all them sheriff headshots. Um, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for some chamber pocket guardian um, dinks. Yeah, I'm, I'm just. Gonna I'm gonna take notes. Wazoo. I'm gonna so, take some notes on uh, how to play chamber. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, the same here. Same here. Because <laughs> um, uh, that that was clean. But we're gonna have to see how everyone fares in this. We don't exactly know how Sacramento plays. On Haven, we don't exactly know how SMSU plays on Haven because it's been so long. Um, so yep. this could go either way. SMSU will be starting out on attack again. Um, yep. Haven typically a little bit of attack sider, attacker uh, sided anyways, given that there's three bomb sites. So you have to split your defenders in a kind of a weird position. Um, and if you lose early trades, you can uh, get a little stranded chamber uh Strazer um, did look like he was stranded in the back site, but he just TP'd out um, as soon as Woken pushed on the site. So. Yeah, he got out of dodge. Um, Bread picking up Uzi there in the mid, looking for a second, but gets picked up by Rosario. There is a lot going on On right the other now. side of the map. Pissed around kicking. Woken crazy. picks up Straz. They do send out the dog. They will see Rosario. I don't think they see, uh, they did not the, see Astra the Astra there, though. Mm -mm. Now Katsune going to be using his dog as well. Go spot out um, Jackson. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna call Jackson Beast Mod at some point in this game oh, because yeah. Jackson's on, you know, on the sofa. Oh, what um, a shot! Oh, Katsune, 22 health and a dream. Rosario in dire straits. Oh, but Beast, Mod, Beast Mod, isn't, Mod isn't looking. Don't get caught lacking. That's that's the number one name in the game right here. And Wilkins gonna take out Rosario with the classic. We'll have the bomb down, but you know, so you got that extra econ going into the next next mm -hmm. round. Pretty good way to, to start off uh, yep. for, for SMSU. I, I think exactly what you're looking for on SMSU, um, especially, you know, Haven attack side. Um, you get that early pistol win. It's going to help you a lot. Um, and they will be forcing up onto those specters. Welcome. Going to be keeping on that uh, keeping on that ghost, you know, a little, little 3-0 action. Um, yeah. Probably. Oh, I take that back. She's getting a specter. She ain't risking it. <laughs> Might as well. I mean, it's like, I'm, I'm going to take it easy. This is still second round. I'm not going to go crazy in the paint. Like, mm -hmm. I want to take it slow. We're going to see how it goes. Ooh. Uzui with that. Whoa. Oh, oh, wow, wow. The shorty play. Okay, Woken, you got you to gotta not push into Uze. Uze shorty this time around. 
Let's gotta see only, how it goes. That's my only request. Oh, oh. oh, he shoots the two shots, but Woken does push him, picks him up. Beastmon gonna pick up Yoshi. Woken picking up Kitsune. Hold Straw's up. trading back, but Jackson picking up Straw. Hold up, now. hold up, hold up. Can we rewind? I know we can't do that right now. Uh -huh. Did Strauss just shoot the headhunter through smoke and got a headshot? Is that what happened? I. I I was looking at the based, kill feed, I'm going to be the, honest. Based on the screen, based on what I just saw, Strauss is different. Uh, <laughs> um, hey, man, he, 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 he's got that, uh, he's got them sheriff headies down. Yeah, that was uh, That's what that's I'm crazy. talking about. That's what I'm looking for, Strauss. Uh, and it, 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 this this round may go, may go. I mean, it's good classics. It's going to be kind of hard when you have specters and stuff here. <laughs> you know, but hey, but hey, uh, that's, that's SMSU, just me. SMSU, only going to lose one member there. So that's going to feel great on this bonus round. Oh, yeah. Going to give them a real good chance of, uh, you know, possibly capitalizing if they win this round uh, i'm gonna put them in a great great position um especially Woken, actually gonna so pick close up to the, actually gonna pick up a no she's i i think the is she or is she not i, I think know. woken is is might might buy yep right she's one away from ult so she's definitely gonna use it for next round right but she's gonna take this so she can at least guarantee ult if she gets a kill. Mm -hmm. If they win the round, it, I mean she'll get it if she doesn't kill yeah, anybody. I, but we'll I really, I really like, I really like the phantom buy up there from her. Yeah, um, I think it's it was like uh, you don't want to rely on the ult if you can just buy a rifle and just. Jump yeah, in. well, and with if you have four specters, like, you know, you want to come into this with some with some aggression, and if you can win this bonus round, it's just gonna set you up and yeah. get. Get that phantom, you know, not just buying a sheriff is going to put you in the best position for that. Going to push up Ooh. and get picked up so that... Oh uh, my goodness. Not the double kill two-piece by Kitsune. Yeah, and, and we just, you know, we're talking about setting the tone. That sets it up right oh, there. Oh, Brad, is he going to get caught here by Rosario? He yeah. does, yeah, unfortunately. Will. And that's going to be bombed down in mid, just outside a window. And now... Um, I wanted to I wanted to call Jandy Jackson just because he's on the Astra, but uh, it ain't. It Jandy ain't. and Beast oh, Mod. But his knife is out. Oh, with the knife Beast out. Mod. That is unfortunate. Now Jandy, last alive, um, has to die. <laughs> there isn't much that, um, that can you, be done well, here. Well, he has to die for the income. Yeah. If he wants to fall by next round, he has to die. Thirty seconds. He can may he can um, may try to go for a pick maybe, but it's gonna be tough. And I can I can already I mean, tell the voices in his head, the team just saying like, <laughs> hey, hey. Just take it slow. Take it easy. I mean, this is this is a uh, four v one. There's not much you can do. You oh, might as well good. just wait the clock out. But he's 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 risking it for the biscuit and uh, biscuit yeah, you gotta, denied. You got to do something if you want to full buy next round. Um, yeah, there was nothing that could have been done. I mean, a pick would have been pretty good. A pick would have been optimal, but yeah, you know, best case scenario. But at that point, it's it so it was so deep. Nothing you could do there. But looking at. Uh, you know, Hornets looking who's looking pretty decent right now on the hey, side K of Katsune coming in strong. Yeah, you know the, I you know, I'm sure Katsune was watching the game, just observing and being like, all right, put me in, coach. I know what I got to do now. I know what got to. I know what needs to be done, and you saw right there with that double kill. Now SMSC needs to answer back with something because it's still relatively close in terms of score. But uh, who knows how their mental game is yeah. right now. And SMSU is going to invest the alt on C-Site. I just about called it A. Um, going to be looking to get on there. They are out fully on site, but Woken wow. gets picked up there by Straws. Man, I'm telling you, Straws, he knows how to hit them headshots, bro. That was through smoke again, wasn't and it? And an updraft. Oh my no, it wasn't. Uh, there was how? smoke down, but Woken updrafted and yeah. Uzi popping on there, picking up Jandy real quick and nice like that. On his Cabela's Pick big it up game Beast hunter Mod as well, and now, oh, the piece of bread. Does he have this massive flank? That would. I think that did hit him a little bit. Oh, but Yoshi's going to be able to bread get that does defuse, pick up two, and the pain comes he's out. Picked up, and it is going to be unfortunate for SMSU. He's going to have the fan though going into the next round, which will be good for at least a little bit of econ. But as you're looking at the buys coming out here. It's looking a oh, little. No. It's looking a little sus on the side of SMSU. Afro, you know what I spy with my little eye? 
the Odin. The Odin yeah. on Rosario. The All Father, give me strength. <laughs> he's uh, he's brought it out, and you can see here it, it's not only he's that. Not but in garage either with it. <laughs> the the Hornets have three ults. There's one on the way, so if they don't even use ults this game, this round they're going to have four oh, next round. Oh, this man knows how to play Odin. He's got the spot. He's locked. got locked. He's got that easy spot shooting into sewers there. No, uh, I actually did not know that existed. Oh, yeah, and, it's, uh, it's and a real. Now, <laughs> now and I, I do. <laughs> if, if you're a really, really good Soma player, there's a dart you can line up that will yeah. bounce right into sewers, and then you do that right in there. Oh, man. Being, uh, Soma is such a technical character. I love watching him play, but sometimes when I, when I try to play him, I wish I could do things like this, but I can't. And that's why I'm a cypher I feel the same way. I feel the same way whenever I play Jet. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Rosario taking out Woken with the headshot on the Odin. Beastmon will be able to get the plant out, but the ult will come out to uh, kind of hold them back just a little bit. Oh, man. Tour de Force is out as well. Yeah. Uh, this is looking at dire. Strauss will take out the piece of bread. Lurking in the window. Yeah, SMS is going to find something that Tour de Force is doing so much work. And Jackson last alive, but he's going to get pushed by Rosario. Doesn't find him. Rosario getting a three piece that that the, round. The and, uh, Odin. Uh, straight flawless coming out from Hornets. Yeah, exactly and, what they're uh, looking for. Rosario was super close to uh, dying, but. That Odin, man, it is so strong. Like, it's it's gotten him out of um, a lot of situations. Did I, I didn't see, but Jandy died early on in that round, didn't he? I believe so. Yeah, and that's so something you SMSU don't want. Yeah, so SMSU lost the smokes, and that's why they couldn't smoke off um, straws up in the A heaven with that Tour de Force, and that yeah. was doing so much work that last round. So I believe Jet was first to go because of the, the Odin shot with the headshot, but mm -hmm. then I think Jandy died, like, immediately after that. There was no way to really lock down sight. This game has uh, done almost almost a complete 180 from what we saw before, but we we have seen Sacramento on attack before in the last game, and it was also very closely contested on there, so I'm expecting nothing less. Yeah, SMSU getting a lot of control into Garage early on here, taking a little bit of damage. Um, well, not them, actually. Uh, so the characters me. are so similar sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> it's... Like a, it's well, SMSU was blue last yeah. time, and they're... They're red this time. Oh, wait. Were they... No, I think they were red the, uh, for most I, of the... You know... It's, I don't know, man. It, there was so much high I'm, energy I'm looking at the game. game. I'm confused. That's that's hey, all that's happening. Hey, that, it happens to the best of us, bro. It's all good. It's all, there's a lot going on. Oh, oh Jackson. Jackson. But Rosario with the Odin. The Odin of the Dream. Only finds one there. Looks like he could have found another, but... Jet, look how close Jet is to death. I, I couldn't even I didn't I didn't even notice that the bar had a oh, little bit of Woken. color in it. It was so low. Woken's uh, got that heartbeat monitor just going crazy. Yeah. Just almost on a flat line. Get you some herbs and start mixing them up and heal up because you are you're you're beaten up right now. Yeah, no sage in the round to help her out there either, so Yeah, there wasn't not there they got they got away with the win. It was still pretty strong. It was four SMSU members still alive and kicking. Uh, but they're but they need this round. They're, they're doing yeah, all right have, for have econ. Have to see how uh, SMSU can do this round. Uh, they do have the Sova and the Killjoy alt. So if they can use those effectively, um, they can get a lot of pressure on to site. Um, but look where oh, Uzi's at in. Wow. Oh, he gets a kill on the Jandy there, and that's massive pickup because the that is SMSU is gone. smokes. That's the smokes. They're going to they're going to throw out the Killjoy all, but they don't have any smokes to deal with heaven or to smoke off the rest of site. Um it's not what they're looking for. Jackson is trying to lurk in mid here, but um, maybe a little bit of those uh controller tendencies coming out. Yeah, I think the <laughs> the controller still lurks within, you know. It's uh it's still there. Uzwi though Able to secure Piece of bread, though, gets a 2K with an Odin. Hey, I can Odin, too. I can Odin, too. I got the moves. But can he secure it Last here? Player Last player standing. Looks at Rosario. Tries to flick with the ADS. But yeah, it's going to be Rosario. Jackson tried to make use of his alt there, but I don't think he tagged anybody with it. Yeah, I don't think um, that was going to be... I don't think it was going to be hitting. And I, I, I think I'm starting to see what the, the issue is with SMSU. I think for me, for me personally, I think the thing that, that throws me off the most about the team was the switch from for Jackson to be mm -hmm. Sova when he was doing really well as Astra. That you know, you want 
especially with Astro being such a hardcore micromanagement kind of style where you want to you, you want to micromanage put all this stuff in certain areas and and try to control as much of the map as possible to give it to, to jandy might be a lot of pressure on him yeah, to kind of do what jackson was doing i my, my biggest my what, what what would be my biggest criticism of jandy would be not the fact that he's died six times that's not it I think but it's, the fact that he's died early on in rounds yeah you, um, you do not want like like it, it's hard. That's why I'm like, if, if if anything, maybe Jandy could have been Omen, because then he can at least get throw um, the smokes out, like, and then if even, he goes, he goes. Yeah. So Jandy gonna be throwing down the some smokes there. Hasn't died in the round yet, which is good for SMSU. Um, <laughs> that no, is, no, no, no flame to him. I, I really don't mean <laughs> that, it. Um, that sounded it's, a little it, bit. <laughs> it sounded a little a little flamey. I don't mean it that way. Um, it's just really important that you keep your smokes alive. Um, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Especially now Astra. Ooh. And, <laughs> and SMSU <laughs> coming out real dominant there at the end. This is what I like to see, right? Because one round, it looks like, oh, my goodness. This SMSU goes down a little bit. They're, they're, they're getting a little bit beat mm -hmm. up. And the next round, it's like, what happened? Uh, nothing happened. Uh, that last round... I got beat up, I'm back, and now we're at a 4-4 tie. It, and you can even see on the timeline here, it's just back and forth wins, mm -hmm. back and forth. Yep. But... SMSU does have a little bit of advantage with the economy. Just a little it, bit. Interesting enough, uh, Piece of Bread's going for the Odin on attack. Not something you see a whole lot. Uh, typically a defense uh, weapon, but... Oh. Looking, to, uh, looking to use it into garage there. Recon Bolt comes Ooh. out from Jackson. Gonna Here comes the spot world divided. Rosario. World divided as well. And it's they're, they're going to make that move. hit on the sea site. Oh, oh wow. wow. Had her crosshair in the right place, but Beastmon's going to pick and run in there. Get a 2K. Throwing out some utility here. Yoshi getting ready to make moves. Jandy will start the plant, and they will get bombed down. Got to deal with that world divided, though. Oh, it drops, wow. and Woken is right there to pick him up. Katuna already making the moves. Has to start an shooting. idea. And she's um, hurt. But. Piece of Red going to push out from Garage, pick up Kasune, and yeah. now Uze, last alive, only has a Judge. Um, not necessarily the weapon he wants, but uh, maybe he can find some rat kills here. He could definitely. Um, I mean, if the jet gets caught lacking, which she's staying on site for yeah. good reason, could possibly get a peek uh, on the He should be able window. to hear SMSU here, but I think he's probably hoping that they push into him. Okay, Jay. Piece of Bread will. Oh! And he does find Piece of Bread there. Gets a free Odin out of it. But now Jandy's going to peek out shot. back onto him, but... Ooh! Um, <laughs> Jandy, no business running back on a site. What was the communication there, Uzi I wonder? doesn't have time there, and that's just a free rifle that uh, SMSU loses, but Uzi will die there as well. Um, kind of surprised he didn't pick keep the Odin. Maybe he was looking for some more uh, refrags on the SMSU. I was surprised at the fact that Jackson didn't check down B. I, I would assume, right? You, you Well, I... I don't. I don't think that there was any reason really for them to do that. Um, they don't need to push into B. Mm. Um, you know, they can just watch it as they cross over into spawn. You got all of their players in spawn, so they know that that uh, that area is safe. Um, and there's only two places that they could be coming from. Yeah. And there's like no way that they're ratting over in A heaven. No, that would be absolutely insane. <laughs> you have no right to do that. That's just something that's gonna not gonna happen. And look um, at this aggression here by yeah. Woken. It does pay off. She will take out Yoshi. And have B on full control You know, here. it's really funny. Pre-round, you were talking about nobody ever goes B. Nobody ever tries to go for B on this map. I will, I I will think, add. I think Woke it proved <laughs> I will too now, wrong. I will now add the asterisk. <laughs> no one pushes for B unless it's just, A, let's just go straight up there. Just go up the gut. They don't expect it. Especially after going through multiple rounds of just A and C, A, C, A, C. Then you're just like, let's mix it up. Let's yeah, go mid. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised that SMSU decides... That, oh, oh Strahd! The hunter, The man with the plan and the sheriff ability. Um, of course, it was the pocket guardian there. Yeah. Um, Wilkin going to end the round with a 3K. That's got to feel good. It's got to. Um, it, it has to be. You know, you're. we've had back and forth wins, and now we finally get to see, at least for, from a little bit ago, because we did have Hornets get a couple back-to-back -back wins. Now SMSU is getting a couple back-to-back -back wins. The momentum has been shifting so much that there mm -hmm. still ha isn't like a, a clear set winner to me. And I also see Uzui with the op. That's going to be dangerous. <laughs> that is going to be real dangerous. Yeah. But it doesn't look like it's it, going to affect you know, SMSU It's interesting much. that the Hornets decide that they want to uh, they want to run double op um, characters, essentially. Because, yeah. you know, they have the chamber and the jet. Um, that can make some moves. And look at this. Oh, Rosario with his 
cheesy, cheesy Odin angles, man. I mean, it kept them enough, but they're still committing to this push. But you can see it's... Uzui's already making the rotation to watch op uh, in a But look, look where, look where Beastmon yeah. is. Look where Bomb is. Oh, oh, and they're gonna and they're what gonna a... put the Killjoy oh, ult on here. Man. Sell the fake. Oh, and Jackson and Beastmon, the duo. The art of the and cell. Look at that. <laughs> My look goodness. At how well SMSU sells the fake. Um, That's so crazy. They will. Uh, now they have to. Now they have to hold down. They have to. They have to get up there quick so they can start watching out yeah. for things. Woken's still sitting in mid, and no one's in mid right now. So they're gonna have Jet kind of lagging behind a little bit here. This mod will get the dog out here. Is gonna push. Oh, it gets destroyed before it gets to the smoke. Message received. The owl drone gets a lot of lot of info for the Hornets. Straw's gonna pick up Woken there, which is a big pickup. Now it's a four v one. SMSU's man down advantage. Oh, and the Odin Uzi comes back. Gonna come through. It's up to Gets Jackson. Picked up by Jackson and Jackson gonna pick up by Kasune, and that's gonna be a round win. Yeah. Just it, keep going back and forth, man. It was a masterful play by SMSU to try and 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 go for that sell, and it worked. But I think the biggest I, problem from that was yeah. not establishing the post plants. They were still um, waiting for rotates and everything. When I yeah, that sell. So that sell was great, right? Yeah. I, I think what would have made that work a little bit better is if instead of having four members at A, they had one person to hold down mid mm. because you saw when they were rotating yeah. back through, um, they were kind of taking their time because they weren't sure Who was if there around. was actually a member of the Hornets that was uh, just lurking watching. in mid somewhere waiting for the rotate. Yeah. Um, they didn't know how well they sold it. Um, and that and that's which the, is that's, unfortunate. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. It's like it was a good sell, but oh, how no, they Yoshi, the, bait. the Odin plays here. Oh, it does get picked up by Jackson though. Almost got away too. The two hundred force is out, so of course the chamber going to try and stand a little bit far away as the seekers do go out. And he's just going to go try oh, and look for shots. Oh, spike gets down. Oh, this no, could be big. Uze, they got two ops here. Uze does know that Woken. Oh, oh flicks up, picks wow. up Woken. Jandy oh. peeks him as well, picks up Jandy, and he knows that Beast Mod is in that corner. He knows. So he's just going to smoke it off. You know, hold. And here comes oh, the old. I see, I just did it, man. That's not Beast Mod. That's Jackson. Yep, Jackson <laughs> holding off in Who's the corner. Who's he going to push him? going to pick him up, going to pick picked up by a piece but of bread. But is going to go. Oh, my God. Bread. Gets a massive, massive 3K clutch there did you see how how much time they still had there was like a little there was sliver. a sliver man and, there he, was and, and he got a oh my nothing an odin in a dream an odin in a dream, an odin in a dream that's man. all you need but oh my goodness piece of bread oh we didn't even mention that was the last round of the half what a way to end the round yeah <laughs> uh and now we get to see smsu going into defense yeah mode. they're coming into defender defending side on haven they're up Two rounds, um, which is good. Um, they're gonna need those, I think. Yeah, it's gonna. Um, it's, this in this round for me is just gonna have to be playing smart, using utilities, and and trying not to like get into that brain that the mindset of going too confident like they did last time. Yeah, they want to secure. I, I really like that SMSU is just leaving piece of bread over on C site to anchor it. Um, yeah. In my experience, you do not see a lot of pistol rounds on the C. Oh, and, and he stuck you in the room. Not, oh no. Oh, Brad. Not Brad, Beast, Beast Mod. Mod. Beast Mod, Beast man. Mod out here. He's already looped oh, around. He's looking, he's looking for a third. Now Woken with a two-piece. Woken's going to help him out there. Whoa, oh, what a goodness. dominant pistol round there. I think it completely, it, it was all the Beast Mod there. That first kill oh, on man. the jet. And then you have Sova caught in drone. Uzi, man, you got to check just... your corners. You can't. This is Valorant. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure Uzui was gonna try and peek once they, you know, you saw he ran up. He had the the frenzy out, getting ready to do something. And by the time he did, still it was gotta, lights you out. Still gotta check your corners. Still gotta check those corners. <laughs> you still gotta check them at the end of the Especially day. Especially when there's a beast mod rat in it with a. But how do you, how are you supposed to expect that? You know, it's um, like it's. <laughs> I mean, it's a corner and it's Valorant. But it's, I don't know it's what else to say. It's crazy enough that that was a move that Ooh. Uzui did in the past too. <laughs> So it's like it all comes back around. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's poetic. It almost. is what it is, man. <laughs> it's, it's Valorant. <laughs> it's Valorant. Um, Hornets forced on the save here since they lost the pistol round. Um, so 
going to be trying to look for uh, typically what you want to see. If you're saving, you want to try and take engagements that are going to favor that classic uh, range. Um, I'm going to be pushing up into garage here. Not going to meet any members of SMSU, but the alarm bot will suss some of them out. Danny going to peek in. Oh, does pick up one. Jandy. And Beast then, Mine going to pick yep. up one. Piece of bread going to pick wow. up one. Wow. Piece of bread going to pick up two. Piece of mine not going to be able to. Piece of bread going to pick up three. Yeah, piece of bread. <laughs> picking up another 3K like it's nothing, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. Just, uh, just piece of bread things, just, man. Just, piece, just typical piece of bread things. And they will go for the timeout. Katune will call out the timeout and uh, we get a little bit of time to talk about the biggest uh, draws from this yeah. game. Again, we're at a situation where, you know, uh, the last very, round. Very similar to the to situation last, we saw yeah. last game. That is for sure. That is for sure. It is, oh, I believe this was not entirely how it looked, but it was about the same, right? It was pretty close. You're, you're at a, you're at a I, deficit. I think it was like SMSU was at, they, they were at eight or nine. I don't yeah, know. It they was, were. They had. Because it was... They're doing good. Yeah, it was for sure. Like, cause, and, and we're here at the situation again. They're taking a little bit of time to take this time out. And mm -hmm. I think I think this also is is also kind of a mind game if you think about it. Because now, yeah. from such high energy wins, you take the time out, right? And you can give yeah, SMSU that time to like good, uh, boost the ego a little bit. Get them yeah, a little more it's confident. A good, uh, I, th I think it's a good freeze tactic, too. Um, yeah. You know, you almost want to just take the time out because SMSU, if you look, they have three round wins. You know, they have the two wins off of this pistol round. You take the time out in the third round and you just, you make them think a little bit. Yeah, um, get in their head a little bit. And this is a major round for Hornets to win. They're on their full buy. SMSU is on a essentially a full bonus. Yeah, and, um, and they can take this opportunity to make some big moves here. And Hornets looking like they're going to be stacking over towards A. SMSU actually doesn't have any players over there, so maybe the mind games have worked a little bit. SMSU getting really, really aggressive. Jackson pushing up. They're going to pick up straws. And, that's you know, we that's talking, an ego booster. We were talking a little bit beforehand about how you, how you kind of do need to get aggressive on defense on Haven because of the three bomb sites, and SMSU doing that. They do lose two for one. They get a lot of damage onto Yoshi and onto... Uh, Whoever is playing the sky. <laughs> uh, uh, Kitsune. Just, Kitsune. Okay. Yeah, okay. Kitsune is, was, the, uh, was I, the sky. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, man. It, it's all good. Jackson will get the shock dart, though, on Aoi Kitsune. And uh, now we're sitting at, wow, well, I was going to oh, say a 3v3. Oh, picking up Yoshi. Uh, but as soon as the words Easy. leave my mouth, Rosario, Rosario digging down deep, turning this 3v3, and he just gets a 2k off of that one. He's yeah. feeling pretty good. Rosario and Uzi there holding down the... Uh, the classic really really strong crossfire yeah. on a site there between so hell strong. and um graffiti a crossfire is all you really at that, that point that it's, crossfire it's, is like the best in the game man like it's so good graffiti just takes contact and then the hell player just gets to peek out and go bye bye yep and if the graffiti player takes contact and doesn't die i mean it's yeah but i see it's just free man woken does have off she's watching down the, the C main waiting for the Sova to make a move here. The question is, is Sova going to make that move? And he's going to Doesn't get look like out he of dodge. Wants to. Oh, he's he's kind of contemplating it a little bit. Well, he's just playing mind games at this point, man. Let's just hope it doesn't bite him. Oh, uh, the dog comes out from SMSU, from Beast Mob. Oh. Does find one. I'm sure he was trying to go for the old shoulder peek. Trying to bait the op yeah. out, and it just was a little too much of an overextension, and it's going to cost him big time as Woken will get the op shot. Putting this down now, 3v5 SMSU with a clear advantage here. It's going to have to come down to the Hornets to, to, to make something happen. I mean, they did really well, but now they're down two people. Yeah, Plant is going to be going down on A site. None of the members of SMSU are there yet, so wait to see if they get a decent retake set up going here. Uzi, Uzi in a really aggressive position. Gets killed by Woken there, however, and Beastmont, it is should be noted, oh. is in the back, and he picks up Yoshi there, and this is going to leave Kasune last alive up against five members. Hot gets instantly destroyed. Yeah, and now they have a good <laughs> idea about where they Leaves could be. Leaves his hand for a moment. Oh, but the Beastmont pushing down into Sewer. But Woken, Woken with the 3K op shots. Going to secure it for her team with that one. I mean, that was... That was fantastic play there yeah, by SMSU. Yeah, and I, I, 
we asked the question last game. Yeah. If the Hornets were getting in the SMSU's head, I think you got to ask the question now: Is SMSU getting in the Hornets' head at all? Yeah, I think the um, I think I can full heartedly agree that I think they they took that last game, thought we got too confident last time. We got the lead, yes, but let's get confident after the game. Let's let's feel good after yeah. the game. Let's keep this on a level where we can still play at our highest without yeah, overdoing it. You gotta it. keep your mental in check, not let your yeah. emotions get too much the best of you. Um, if you do, you won't be making the good crispy decisions and making them crispy clean headshots like we keep seeing straws make. That's right. Um, I'm just I'm, I'm just impressed by how many how many sheriff shots and like guardian shots or pocket I'd, guardian I'd, shots he gets I'm what's, the actual, what's the actual name of uh chambers uh pistol the headhunter headhunter that is that's yeah it. it's it and it oh, lives Jandy. up to the name finds a heady jandy he's gonna have to back, back off a little up. bit and i know and hey, hey i know we we it sounded like we were flaming jandy before you know we kind of we kind of we threw his name in the mud because we were like maybe you shouldn't play maybe you shouldn't play Andrew, right? i mean he's proven it here he's doing perfectly fine and you know i think that could just be that i, I don't usually see jandy a lot so i don't know how he'd be playing mm-hmm but I'm seeing him playing now, and I respect that. I respect in how he's doing right now. Yeah, it, I mean, and playing controller when you're on attack, it's it's a really fine line, right? Because yeah. you don't you you want to be aggressive. Oh, Jandy sees the gun, gonna try and throw some shots out. Sees the hawk out come out, gonna back off back on the back site. Oh, oh Woken, Woken had no idea, behind, and they picked up the op as well. Unfortunate. Thirty seconds left. And Jandy's gonna have to make have thirty do. seconds left. They're gonna have You're to gonna try and rotate over to A, but Beast Mod, he's Jackson. ratting, picks up one. Not Scott. Ah, it's did Jackson. It again. Always. It is Jackson. Uzui will take out Jandy, leaving just the piece of bread. Man, of course it's Jackson lurking. <laughs> it's always Jackson. It's always. They will get the if point. It's down. a lurker. It's a Jackson, man. That's correct. A wild Jackson appears, and it's gonna be the piece of bread with the KJ. No ult, just turret, alarm bot. He's gonna have to play the safe. He's gonna peek out. Gonna he pick up one. Kasune. Can he pick up another? Oh, and you can Does see. Does have to deal with an op and the chamber. Staring down sewer as well. He's got to play this. Oh, and oh, they push the off. the timing. The timing. They're gonna hear the jumps. However, though, looks to check his corner. Throws out the bot. Oh. And just crosshair is not quite in the right space. Doesn't but, think that yeah. he's gonna get peeked there. Moves yep. it a little ways away. And you could Our hear, crumbles. too, the turret detected chamber, and so he was going to peek there. But the jet was waiting and hiding for the right opportunity and just got mm -hmm. him. And it worked out for him. And now they have op. They got rifles. Meanwhile, SMSU looking be staggered. to a save. Yeah, they're going to have to play this smart. Obviously, long-range battles is not going to be the play here. You're going to get clapped yeah, by either the rifles gonna, or the op. Going to see a stinger for the first time in a long time. And it's almost like an effort of not pushing in fast, because that can also cost you. But as of right now, C looking kind of open with the yeah, op kind of working I, in the I, back. I like that SMSU is kind of leaving C pretty open. I think, I think when you're on this... Uh, you know save round you gotta passively kind of hold it because yeah. you don't have the you don't have the firepower to contest c long like at all yeah um like oh they're gonna try and dive around that world divided that world divided is gonna give them a fair amount of trouble woken does have her knives out here though she's gonna oh but jump Rosario. into rosario's crosshair able really, uh, to get the peak and it just completely ooh, beast mod finding one kill oh picks up a stinger though which is not what he's looking for he's gonna have to he's gonna have to fight this one but the arrow does go out yeah, they don't and catch it, him it's a it's a sheriff with an op and a vandal against him uh, he does pick, does up, a pick rifle. up the phantom they have to throw out ooh. the op shot oh and the suck. concussion comes out yep, rosario yep. peeks out gets his little 3k with the op as well uh, just a oh. little bit of uh a little bit of a, a snide remark back at Woken mm -hmm. for hitting those off shots not too long mm -hmm. ago herself. Mm -hmm. You know, this, and that's what this game has been. It's like, I see the play that you just did. Allow me to do it too, right? We saw Odin plays at Ascent. We're seeing op shots here. It's a lot of like, we're, we're coming at you just as much as yeah. you are SMSU at us. SMSU going for broke this round. All rifles and an op. And Jackson with the Guardian as he, uh, he doesn't do that sometimes, you know? Sometimes um, you just need to bring out the Guardian a little bit. Sometimes you just got to hit some Guardian headies, man. And you can see uh, uh, at least a few members. Oh, oh Beast Mod taking wow. a really aggressive position. 
Gotta see if he rats here, but Uzi's gonna be looking for him. Oh, the right click? No, the Ferrari peak right clicked. Oh, not wee. what you wanna see. Not what you wanna see at all. That hurts. That hurts. Oh, piece of bread. Is gonna commit the Killjoy alt. And the ult Jackson's as well. gonna commit the. the oh, finds a kill. Does get Yoshi. You know, I thought he was gonna get a double peek up there. Oh, piece Look of bread at picking this. up straws off the teleport. Woken watching with op. Katsune. Rosario, last two alive for Hornets. Rosario gonna be Ooh. coming up against Jackson here. Jackson better Jackson be ready. actually gonna be droning. Oh, he, he gets the information. Oh, what? Jackson. Oh, wow. Jackson with the and shot. With that. Katsune bombs halfway already. Yep. Gonna fall here to Jackson. Jackson in a nice little 3K there. SMSU finding some more life in this game. They finally they they, they need it. Yeah, they they definitely did. It was a lot of a lot of big plays that could I mean it looked at first it looked kind of dire, but not anything to like you know go home about, right? That right click though, <laughs> the Ferrari oh peak. Gosh. I know that had to have hurt Beast Mod because that that's, that hurt me. That hurt me. I cringed a little bit. <laughs> I, I winced. I was I like, was, oh. I, oh. Well, I saw I saw Uzi hit. You know, he had the op, and he was, like, lining up like he was slow peeking that. And I'm like, okay, yeah, so he probably he probably kills Beastmon here. And then he just gets up close and just. And just hit you the. You just don't expect it, hit man. Hit the quick weave. We'll, we'll get the off shot, however, on Yoshi in uh, near sewer. So that's going to definitely take out their, their smokes for the most part. However. They still have yeah. ways to get in. They got the dog. Massive, they got the birds. massive early pick as we were seeing in the previous rounds when Jandy would go down early. That's right. You definitely don't want to lose your smokes early on. It hurts the soul so much. Rosario oh, going to peak beast, beast mod, mod there. And again, a little bit of that reaction time. It, it's just yeah, a little too a little far bit of behind. peaker's advantage, man. Yeah. Oh, oh but Jandy. Uzi. Taking a Uzui. Looking, looking pretty good right now, and now you see the Hornets are starting to back off. At least two members are, as the as yeah, Rosario. SMSU's got a good, good man advantage here. Oh, Woken, um, watching from the top of B. Straws though, the man to watch isn't looking. Oh. Gets picked up by Woken there, not looking up on top of the box. Does ping it out for his teammate here, and the Astra utility left. does come out. And yeah. look at the movement here by Woken, able to switch sides. Kitsune here is absolutely stranded. Um, that's actually a misplay, I think, by Jandy to smoke there. Um, mm. Maybe not realizing that without the smokes, uh, oh, but I Kitsune mean, would be stranded. But it looks like it's going to be pretty close. They're not going to be able to plant. Well, they do have time to plant. But you can see Piece of Bread already sneaking up from behind. Ratting a little bit behind him, picks it up, gets the defuse. Yeah. Now SMSU going to be one round away from win. They've and got a Astro Alt to work with. Yeah. Um, they're going to be going into this next game with the you know, with with the momentum at their sails. They're ready to go. All they need to do get this one round, clean it up, call it a day, and that's going to be it for the Hornets. Uzi's got Alt here on the jet. Um, Actually, that is the only alt. I thought I saw another one, but uh, I must have been mistaken because I do not see a little yellow border around anybody but Jet. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to be Jet and Astra who both have their alts ready to go. So they're going to be probably have to be used here for yeah, the most part. That's why Uzi's using theirs. Yeah, one off. Um, so if they could play all orbs. But, I mean, in neither of these games have we really saw, like, plays for orbs be a big main thing that's going on. Yeah. Um, no, they didn't want to play for orbs here. It was just let's yeah. play for let's play for bomb. Let's get the econ. Let's try and get that more than we need for alt. Which I mean that can work as we've seen. This this game is fairly close. Mm -hmm. But straws, oh, straws, hitting the op shot back at Woken. Getting the first blood there. Pretty major, especially in a die around like this for the Hornets. Hornets need this win to at least stay alive. SMSU now down a member. Of, and, and it's their their jet as well, so it's going to be looking not the it's not the greatest, yeah, but they're sticking still dig Hornets down. Hornets going to be looking to slow rotate. SMSU has waited over towards the seaside here, um, so not necessarily looking like 
the Hornets are going to commit fully. Yeah, although it's looking like it's going to be an A commit. Looks like they yeah. maybe could have pushed up into B there if they wanted to, but. I think they're gonna. I think this was the best move to probably go for yeah. A. And Jackson, Jackson is really passively holding over here. Um, I think SMSU really expects it to be a C hit. They see the Astro Stars come out, so Jackson's gonna rotate over into heaven, gonna throw out um, that recon dart of his oh, own. But Uzi, oh, but Uzi misses Lee. the updraft. Not gonna be able to secure that window hop up with the updraft. And uh, Jandy does bring out the world divided. Although, honestly, that might. That might help. Uh, it might help more than it hurts well, I mean, them. Hey. Oh, Uzi, he can't. He can't he does get, get a, one. He gets can't one. Get a knife to connect. Oh no! But Jackson oh. looked away. And it's gonna be down to just Kitsune, who secures that victory with the 2K from Kitsune. That's gonna keep them alive just a little bit longer. It yep. looked. It looked. I mean, you said it. The the, the that wall kind of came into play. There was a lot of hijinks, a lot of shenanigans happening in that round. There was a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I was a little bit discombobulated by the amount of things happening <laughs> in that round. And it's going to be Kitsune who comes out with the win in there. That's insane. Yeah, especially you're going to be forced onto a save round this time. Um, and Straws has the op again. Yep. It looks like they might be trying to force C, which is something you wouldn't necessarily expect on a save round. Wow, they are oh, just I'm sorry. full Oh, I'm sorry. SMSU is... That's, on defense. Yep. I don't know why Full. I keep getting screwed up. Oh, but the piece of bread with the with the six shooter out here. He's not going down just yet. You're not gonna come up on me trying to make moves on me it's without me uh very, very important opening first blood for them. Um, oh yeah. Not sure. able to pick up the rifle, I don't believe, which is unfortunate. Oh, but Strauss with the Strauss op shot. The has trade, the though. op, which is not what you want to be dealing with right now if you're SMSU. Jenny did get the trade off on Strauss, however. So they the do op manage is down. The, they do manage to get some resources out of. Uh, um, oh, this is tough. Oh, oh, the rifle. The rifle. That ghost man. Rather have a classic in that situation. Get the right click. Rosario now taking out Woken here. Beast Mod oh, blinded. No. Running in oh, blind. Oh, no. And it's going to be very, very mm. similar you know, to Ascent. Hornet. They're coming back. They got a vengeance. They're Hornets looking for it. Now at a 10, 12. Can't count them out at all. Ascent is here. This is essentially Ascent again. <laughs> this you know, is 10, two, 12. Looking at match point. SMSU needs to dig down deep again. They have op on Woken. They got rifles. Beast Mod does have half shield. They're, they, yeah, they're, they're on, a, for the most part, a full buy this round. So full buy. that's what they're looking for. And so, um, is, uh, so is the Hornets also. Just going full blast. Might as well try and make something happen here. But SMSU, they just have the... Um, no, that's not SMSU. No, yes, it is. Oh <laughs> SMSU defended. SMSU? I can't keep my team straight today. I oh, am sorry. Hey, man. It's, it, it's also, like, completely similar. There's maybe there's one difference on the team. Yeah, I was just looking at all. Um, SMSU does have Sova Alt, and they have Sky, um, Sky Alt. So who's oh, going to try and get on to site? Jandy in a dangerous position. Oh, and the Alt's arrow comes out. Come out. Oh, and the that body is block. getting... Lots oh, of damage. That could have been two Lots kills Lots of there. value from Jackson. Jenny will take I out mean, Kitsune. Look at how much damage Jackson got with that alt. That turned I mean, the tide. It just fully so set it up for his teammates to do whatever they needed to do. And that's going to do it. SMSU's going to pick up Yoshi from Piece of Bread, and they're going to pick up the round and the game as well as the match. Yeah, that's a GG. For this best of three against the Ooh. Sacramento State Hornets. Yeah. And again, 10-13. A uh, very closely contested battle by both teams here, and I gotta give it up for the for the Hornets here. They gave them yeah. such a fight, such a fight. And I mean, look at look at that. Rosario came to play today. Piece of bread, also though. He, I, he was just making moves both games. This game was so close, and it was. so was last game. Um, oh, it was. I think it's a really good testament to the Hornets' mentality that they're able to take those timeouts um, yeah. and then come back into the game. And, and like and makes, and make moves like that. I mean, they they come into the second half, right, and yeah. they're down 7-5. to five. Yep. They lose two rounds in a row. And then they just come back at a 10-13. To defense, yeah. Um, yeah. To defense on Haven, um, which is not what you want to have happen, right? Mm -hmm. um, no, no, no. And... You know they come back from the nine and to the nine from the nine and five, and it ends up being thirteen ten. They find five more round wins, which 
is really great. That's exactly what you're looking for, and it's a really, really close game. Um, yeah, those were two very highly contested games. I really liked mm -hmm. both teams. Like when it came to attack and defense, it almost was just such a great like momentum roller coaster. Like they'd get round after round, and then the other team gets a couple rounds, and it's back and forth, back and forth, back and yep. forth, and it all comes down to that defense rounds when they swap. Because we saw SMSU got in their element for a little while back in the set, and then one round later and then another round and another round we're up to this 10-13 and then mm -hmm. now in this game still the same back and forth victories from both sides it could have still been anybody's game yeah here. i i feel like uh i feel like ascent was a big story of clutches yeah um with the jackson sure. clutches with the piece of bread had a he had a couple clutches he had a clutch or so i he had as a, well. he had a few um, he was feasting a he little was bit. yeah he was piece of bread was feasting as a as per usual, as a piece right of here. bread does, you know, as as per usual, right? Um, here, you know. But I gotta give it up for for both teams. This yeah, was a highly I, contested game. This was a great. Way. I think this is one of the best this casts is, we've had, and I mean, yeah, like, I I am so glad that we're back into the swing of things for Valorant here. <laughs> Three yeah, you've, whole you've weeks been, of you've no You've been feeding action. for some casting lately. I've been wanting to cast. I've been wanting to. I just want to watch. I'm gonna it's, sit here and do a uh, League of Legends, and uh, yeah, he gets a whole, um, he gets a whole shebang. Rocky League and I, as well. And this is my, this just is, this is my doing only thing. cam for it. This is, this is my only thing that I do, and I'm so glad that you know I'm back <laughs> in it. And tomorrow we got more. Yeah, Valorant. we got more Val. Oh, thank the gods above. This is gonna be great. Yeah. I, to, uh, tomorrow for everybody watching, we'll be having our week three game that got rescheduled from last week to tomorrow. Yep. And it will be at 7 p.m., not 8:30. Um, and SMSU will be going up against the Milwaukee School, School of Engineering, the Raiders, um, the boys, and that should be. I'm I'm just looking forward to some more Valorant. Um, Honestly, yeah, this was I a wanna, great way to get back into it. I want to see more how Jandy plays um, and how Kingslayer plays. Um, I think it's really interesting that um, you know. So SMSU had Wookie leave, um, and then they had their two. They had Kingslayer and Jandy, and you know, trying to figure out what characters they want to do. You know, because typically they'd have Jackson on the smokes, and uh, Beast Mod would play um, usually Viper or Sky. Yeah, um, but you know, feeling like SMSU still wants that Sova, um, it's really, really hard to not, it's not have it, a Sova. It's it, um, Sova's such an important the best member of Intel the team. character in the game. He is. I for mean, sure. bar none. The, plus post plant lineups. His plus ult. his alt is. I mean, that's what. Look that's at what how, did it Look here. at what Jackson did in that's that game. That's what did it with here. I mean, the, it, he's one of the most technical characters. Easy to learn. Hard to master. That is exactly what Sova yeah. is. Because you can get you can get shots, you can shoot off any dart that you want, but to really master Sova, mm -hmm. you have to be able to have that kind of temperament, that kind of technicality to be able to hit those lineups, to to hit those ults when they need to be hit, and all out just go off like they like both Rosario and Jackson and even Beesmod did in the previous game. They I, just did their thing. I will say I'm curious to see if we get to see any split tomorrow, um, and yeah. if we do get to see some split. If we see some neon on that split, um, we've seen neon before. Yeah, but but not when she was like two weeks after release. Yeah, she's been out for a while now. People know a little bit more what they're doing with her, um, what map she's going on. Split especially yeah. is a good viable map for her because her concussion gets so much value out of uh, out of those tight corners and everything. Um, Honestly, I'm just waiting for the Yoru rework. <laughs> I, I'm just waiting for Yoru. I know he's not going to be able to be played for a little while, but uh, I, I know for a fact that once he drops, I'm playing him. So I don't necessarily you know. know that we're going to see it from SMSU, but uh -huh. I would I would personally love to see some KO um, because KO's, uh, you know, when he first came out, people were kind of sleeping on him a little bit. Um, it, Sky has been so dominant for so long. Um, I got the job done. But... Um, as some more pro tournaments come up, um, some more pros are picking KO, KO up because, I mean, that suppress, man. It's just I, I've i felt it from day one work. that that suppress is so, so strong. Um, it really does, like, Number one way to just so much. shut off a push. Like, oh, you want to push us? Suppress. Yep. Oh, we want to push onto site? I'm going to alt. Can't do it. And then I can also entry as an initiator because – yeah, you have I a get lot. downed, but then I'm down, and, now you're and my alt's pressed. active, so I'm still pulsing out. My teammates can revive me if they so get the chance. Yeah, um, it's just like it's a lot of considerations for the other team. Yeah, um, honestly, it's 
I, I I can't wait to see what the rest of the regular season has in store for us here. Absolutely. And we're going till at least mid April, so I'm mm-hmm. feeling good about that. And I can't wait to get my get right back into the groove of things with Valorant. So I'm excited absolutely, for tomorrow. Absolutely, absolutely. And I am excited to do some more casting. Um, I I enjoy casting league and I enjoy casting Rocket League, but um, this is where this is where I've I had the most time casting Valorant, and I think I'm the best at it. And Okay. Uh, I mean, hey, well, you know, no, no. Gotta, I just think do, it's, it's know, the you, thing that I cast the most. You gotta do what you gotta do, I hey, guess. Man. I also love casting with you. So. <laughs> I mean, after the fact, but you know, if that's gonna do it for us oh. here, <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta we gotta wrap uh, up. We gotta go have a good discussion, I guess. Yeah, we, we can talk for hours <laughs> here, but we're not gonna keep you guys here listening to us banter. So. We will see you guys tomorrow at 7 mm-hmm. for some more Valorant action. It'll be us again, the boys. 100%. You know, we here. You know it. So this has been Afro. And this has been Krav Maga. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. This music got a bump. Okay. I'm listening to this.